Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Giselle from MJ Girls. I am going to be reading you a Halloween scare in Texas. Before you watch this video, subscribe. Um, click the bell by the subscribe button to actually view some of my other videos. Um, I just barely did Santa Duck, um, like about two minutes ago. And now I'm going to do a Halloween scare in Texas. The Santa Duck one was a Christmas one, and now this one is a Halloween one, so it's gone Christmas to Halloween. But um, this one is a Halloween scare in Texas. On the back it says, a Halloween scare in Texas. On Halloween, when ghouls and ghosts and beasts and banishes, vampires and witches are on the parole, are you prepared for the scariest night in Texas? I think I am. A Halloween scare Texas. Um, this is written by Eric James, illustrated by Marina Lee Ray. So, um, I'm going to read you guys this book. So, let's get started. This book invites you to a Halloween scare. Prepare, prepare if you dare for a Halloween scare in Texas. This is a rhyming book, so I'm pretty sure you guys would like it. I'm going to read the pages and then show you. Prepare if you dare for a Texas sad scare. A night of prepare will to whiten your hair. A tale filled with sights that are the best left unseen. Are you ready? You sure? This was my Halloween. And it has actually the ball, the Texas ball, right there. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I like this. The werewolves howled loudly. The moon shone so bright, I stayed in my bedroom. The curtains shut tight. My heart started pounding. My, I, my knees felt so weak, but I... But being a brave kid, I just had to peek. I pulled back the, my curtains. My mouth opened wide. An army of monsters all gathered outside. They staggered and stumbled and lodged down the streets with bags full of cookies and candy corn treats. Emerging from sewers and houses and stores came creatures and critters with ravenous roars. More than more came along from the all over state. They filled up the streets at a dizzling rate. From Houston, El Paso, Fort Worth, and McKinney, the tall and the small and the large and the skinny. All gathered for a spooky, all gathered together for a spooky night to seek out the living and gave them a fright. I'll just do it like this. This is actually might be comfortable for me. The thunder clapped loudly with the terrible booms, ba boom. The witches dodged lightning and clunk through their blooms, brooms, and the two-headed donkeys tried chasing their tails, and vanishes let loose with their hideous wails. Well, I don't, I think, yeah, that might be. The vampires hang out on the streets with their gangs, and grin just to show off their purely white fangs. The mummies moved loudly and stayed white to side to side, while Frankenstein stopped about town with his bride. The cowboys and cowgirls rode skeleton skeletons, and the pirates set sail down the streets with their gallons. The ten-foot-high pixies called picnic with fear. Y'all know that the fairies are bigger than here. A friendly old sea creature made out of sand said howdy to everyone shaking their hand. On top of his head was a ten-gallon Stenson, and that's how I knew he must be a Texan. 
the creeps were crawling, the crazies were crazed, the zombies from Austin uh, had eyes that were glazed, the organs from Dallas were ugly as sin, with the big bowling noses and warts on their chin. Ew. The gulls danced around but were lacking in soul. The gargoyles could rock, but the headless can roll. Although the whole spectacle seemed to spell doom, I foolishly thought I'd be safe in my room. So if there's like a glare or something. Okay, yeah, that's better. But I then something happened that made my heart jump. I froze somewhere below me. I heard a bend thump. I froze for a moment. As quiet as a mouse. Yes, I can hear a noise from inside the house. Ooh, that's scary. I put on my slippers and pulled down my robe. I shook like a leaf, but I don't think it showed. Then slowly but surely, I threw down the stairs, preparing myself for the biggest of scares. My hands trembled widely, and I opened the door. I still shuddered now. At the horrors I saw, a, step, a stir spat out, and a hideous sound, a dozen of monsters jumped madly around. Oh my gosh, look at all those monsters. The sight was horrific. It made my skin crawl. These monsters were having their Halloween ball. And right in the middle was middle one monster loomed tall, the hairiest, scariest monster of all. And his shirt says, I love Texas. He turned around and saw me. I fell to my knees. I'm not very tasty, so don't eat me, please. He beamed ear to ear and broke free to the huddle, ran over and gave me a big monster cuddle. At least we have found you, he said with a smile. From Lowick to Brownsville, we've looked for a while. We came here to give you a wonderful surprise. He held up a trophy in front of my eyes. A prize? And for me? I replied with a grin. But what did I enter? And how did I win? You won the first prize for being the costume you're wearing. It even scares me, and I'm the tip. This isn't a costume. I'm just dressed as me. Exactly. That's the scariest thing you can be. A small human child with a cute button nose. Your teeth are so shiny. You have only ten toes. The hair on your face and horns on your head. They're, the white of your eyes are not glowing or red. A bone-chilling costume. A horrible sight. A worthy example for a Halloween night. We partied together until the moon set, a Halloween night I'll, that I'll never forget. And next year, I won't be, I won't, I won't want to hide in my bed. Monsters won't scare me. I'll scare them instead. Alright, and there's pumpkins, bats, and whatever those things are. So, that is a Texas guy scare. The Halloween Scare in Texas, um, written by Eric James, illustrated by Marina Lee Ray. Um, Marina Lee Ray, I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, but if you're watching this, but yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is for, I think, second up or first up, however your child wants to read it. Um, they're easy words. I will show you some words. Um, look, those are easy words. It's good for learning. Um, it, it's really good. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel, Squishy. Um, like, comment, whatever book you want me to read next. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.